Namaskar Rashtrapati ji. May I have the permission to begin the credential ceremony? Please. Sir, I have the honor to present His Excellency, Mr. Simon Wong, High Commissioner Designate of the Republic of Singapore. Namaskar, Honorable President, sir. May I present to you my letter of credence signed by the Honorable Madame Halima Yaakob, President of Singapore. Please accept my letter of credence, sir. Thank you, Excellency. I heartily accept your credentials. My warm welcome to you for a successful tenure in India. Sir, Honorable President, this year marks the 55th anniversary of our diplomatic relations. India was one of the first countries to recognize Singapore's independence in 1965. Our relationship is forged by history and time. Because our relationship is so strong, since 2018, Singapore has become the number one investor in India. Between 1990 and 2019, Singapore has cumulatively invested US 85 billion US dollars in India. Uh, as we speak, Mr. President, sir, the Confederation of Indian Industries are having a conference now with six of our cabinet leaders to advance uh, the economic agenda. Even during COVID times, between August 2019 and August 2020, our companies have pledged 2 billion US dollars in investments in India. Apart from a very good economic relationship, Mr. President, sir, uh, we have a long-standing and strategic partnership in defense and homeland security. Our leaders meet frequently. In fact, between 1990 and year 2019, over 150 ministerial visits were exchanged. Our relationship is therefore special, strategic, and unique. Honorable President, sir, please accept my assurance that during my tenure, I will protect this excellent relationship and do my best to advance it. Namaskar. Thank you, sir. Rashpati ji, I would like to request you to kindly make your remarks to the High Commissioner. Excellency, thank you for your kind words. I welcome your appointment as High Commissioner of Singapore to India. Your appointment reflects the importance Singapore government accords to the bilateral relations with India. I congratulate the Singapore government for securing public mandate and faith in the general elections held in July. I am delighted to note that bilateral relations between India and Singapore are deepening. There is a keen interest on the part of leadership of both countries to strengthen the relationship further. I would like to thank Singapore for its strong support to India on multilateral forums. We appreciate the support of Singapore in India's election as a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council for the term 2021-22. I appreciate the efforts of the Singapore government to ensure that Indian diaspora's concerns relating to COVID-19 pandemic are addressed in a satisfactory manner. Our mutual cooperation in this regard has further strengthened the existing ties of friendship and trust. I wish you all the best for your assignment. Thank you. Thank you. Rajpati ji, may I have your permission to conclude the ceremony? Please. The ceremony is concluded.